Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, I watched a video not too long ago titled How to Protect Yourself in Prison. And uh, in the video, Big Herc, he shows a, a bunch of uh, techniques. One of them had to do with this right here, a lock. So he used the lock as a weapon. Uh, me being very interested in improvised weapons, I thought that was really cool. And the point of this video here is not to say whether is he lying, is he the real deal, uh, the techniques that he showed, are they, uh, does it work or does it not work? That's not the viewpoint that I take with, with martial arts, with techniques, methods. I, I don't think that way, okay? What I do think is when I see something interesting like that, I, I say to myself, how can I make it work for me? And that's what this video is about, okay? Uh, so when I show you guys moves with the sticks and knives and stuff like that, I want you guys to think that. So at some point in time, you have to go after you practice the moves and stuff, you have to say, how can I make it work for me? Why? Because you're different from me. I'm different from Big Herc. So you have to try it out. And that, that's not saying, does it work? Does it not work? Uh, it's, it's not saying anything bad about the original uh, style or the original place where it came from. It's just you putting in the time to make it your own. And that's what this is about. All right, so one of the techniques he showed was to go ahead and hold it something like this, all right? And uh, basically use it as like a brass knuckles type weapon. And so uh, over in the garage, I have a punching bag stand and instead of the punching bag, I put a uh, small tire on there with a chain and I hit that thing, right? And pretty much to, you know, uh, with my other improvised weapons training, it was, it was what I thought at least it would go for me, which was this works great for like jab type strikes, okay? I tested that out, worked great for me, but then when I did the big punches and stuff, I found that uh, it wasn't always connecting onto just this. The rest of my hand would also hit the tire too. And the evidence, maybe, yeah, you guys can see like uh, there's a, that's a tire mark, it's black. Okay, that's some of the tire just rubbing off on there. So it kind of hurt my hand. And the other thing was um, I had a big tire on the ground and I worked on, you know, like uh, ground, uh, ground fighting type techniques. So I punched it on the ground and I could tell you that it was very uncomfortable. It got to the point where it's starting to hurt. So power punching, once again, it was kind of like not really uh, didn't work too well, at least for me. Uh, maybe my hands are too soft. So I tried holding it this way too. I thought maybe this this holding it this way rather than the middle knuckle might be better and it was still the same. It was still pretty rough on my hands. When I really started, you know, putting in some power, it just it didn't uh, feel too good. So my recommendation is if you decide to use this like brass knuckles, then you need to keep this. I mean the weight is nice compared to like over here. This has nothing. So boom, it feels a lot lighter, but over here, boom, I could feel like the weight, you know, is, is helping my punch become a little heavier. And then of course, using this is much better than actually making direct contact with my own hand. So I like that, but it seems to work better, at least for me, for more jab type punches. All right, so the other thing he talked about was getting this and putting it inside a sock and uh, using it what he said was nunchucks. So that really caught my eye and I said, oh, okay, cool. I'm familiar with nunchucks. So that, that's going to be awesome. And he just like tied it like this. So I tried that once again on the, on the small tire that I have that was hanging. And, you know, I, I went to town on it, right? And I could tell you, um, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see. This is the result. It ripped and it didn't take a whole lot of, uh, of shots, just like one or two hard shots and boom. So I'm thinking if I went once as hard as I could, then already this thing could have already been torn. So uh, at that point, of course, the thinner the material, it's, it's going to be better because uh, as far as damage wise, it'll be better because, you know, you'll directly be hitting more with a lock and the lock is not, it's not all smooth. There's some parts that are kind of nasty. And this one even has like a plastic, um, plastic part to, to make it more rounder. But uh, so if you remove that and stuff, it would, it would definitely be worse, right? But 
once again, if you plan to defend yourself, and unless you for sure think that that one hit's going to take them out, which is probably unlikely, and uh, or if you're in a situ bad situation where it's like multiple guys, uh, I would actually um, double sock it at the very minimum. And yeah, because you're you're double socking it, you know you're you're giving some more padding onto it. But at that point, you got to ask yourself: Do you want more padding? But it's stronger, it's more durable, or do you want less padding, which is now can cut, it's more brutal, but you might lose the weapon after like one or two whacks. So in that case, for me, I would rather put more, more uh, padding and, uh, you know, I, I would double socket at the, probably at the very least. So anyway, those are my findings. Hope you uh, found this interesting. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.